Okay, I'm reloaded. We got London on the Tell me, do you know the feel? Tell me, do you know the feel? You look up and you ain't got no feel. Oh, me in a Lambo? Nah. Hey, what's up, guys? So I'm gonna get rid of a few cars, and I need some help. Get over here! Let me know what cars I gotta get rid of. Let's go. Anyway, so what we're doing here is I'm gonna um, put all my print and stuff here, so that we could uh, actually do some merch and stuff. So. He likes to go on speaker just to, for he, to validate his conversation. He complains about us, you know what I'm saying? We're over here doing our thing. We're obviously, you know, I don't know if it's a jealousy thing or something or what, but, you know, we're out I ain't gonna lie, you probably get like, you probably get like six vlogs, you probably get like six viewers. <laughs> but, um, in a few episodes, I was buying like all this, um, nerf stuff. And this is most of the stuff that's here. I just literally don't have time. I was trying to open up like a, a Nerf little arena. I just don't got no time. But yeah, all the stuff is here. So I'm gonna um I'm gonna set this up in my new house real nice, like in a wall. Holy crap, I'm like, who the hell is that dude? Oh, these dudes are actually working. Only on the dirt bike? Nah. You about to ride too? It's flunk. It's flunk. I got a broken hip from riding one of these, so I got to be careful. So look, I need a little help. I'm trying to transform this whole driveway into like not non-common cars. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of this, the Rebel. Because I got the limited RAM, but I don't know if I should get rid of that too. Now, you know, I kinda like this truck. So I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna get rid of the Rebel. The Blazer has to go, that is, you guys let me know if I should get rid of the, the, the Camaro. If not, I'll keep the Camaro. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this and this. Um, I, I just had a Trackhawk literally a few months ago. You know, I sold the damn Trackhawk. It was brand new. It had literally 500 miles on it. It was like $96,000 for the Trackhawk. So, you know, a lot of dudes been asking me to get another Trackhawk. So I'm going to get the Trackhawk. Now... SRT has to stay. That's that's the baby. The Rubicon has to stay. I'm gonna probably send it to um, where Stradman sent his, and I'll get the Hellcat engine in it. This has to get wrapped in white. If not, I'm gonna wait for the um, the RS7 to come out, and then I'll trade it in for the RS7. The Jeep, I'm still debating on that whether I should keep it. I need you guys help in the comment section ASAP. Now, this, the R8, is going to get wrapped in white. This uh, GTS, or well, GTRS, is going to get wrapped in white. I'm going to keep this. I got to keep her. 
one of my first cars ever. So I'm keeping her. I'm keeping this, the Acura NSX. Now remember, guys, I just, I just bought this car. So now, I'm debating. There's a 50th edition GTR that I had to pick up from Miami. So should I get the 50th edition GTR and then wait and then actually, you know, wait for the Nismo to come out and then trade that in for the Nismo? You let me know. Whatever you guys want, then I'll do that. I'm going to actually listen to you guys too. I'm keeping the Aventador. I'm keeping the Lamborghini truck. I'm definitely keeping, I love, I love the Supra. I think I'm going to wind up keeping this car forever. This is one of the first cars that I, I like truly fell in love with. And it's like, I don't know. I think it's really the design of this car. This house has so many bugs, man. I think um, Toyota said that they have to make a special machine to get those rolls in the back as wide as they are. And I just think it's the most aggressive looking car I've ever seen. Either you love it or you hate it. Me personally, I, I, I'm in love with it. I think it's the best looking car I got. I don't care. That just, some people might not like it, but like I love every curve. It's just bulky and small. And um, everybody keeps saying it's a BMW. Go fuck yourself. It's a Toyota. I don't care what plat. Every car is built on every platform. This right here, the Lamborghini truck is built from a Porsche. From a Porsche. From a Porsche. It, it actually sits on a Porsche. Um, a Porsche uh, platform. So is this a Porsche? So instead of calling a Lamborghini truck, it's a Porsche. Every car is built off each other's platform. So. All that shit. Oh, it's, it's a BMW. It's not a BMW. It says Toyota on it. Stop hating. I haven't drove it. I don't know why. But it's a fucking amazing car. Yeah, I gotta get rid of these stickers. This is for all those people that like, they watch YouTube videos appealing stickers. There you go. <laughs> Oof. Yo, people actually watch that shit too. It's like satisfying videos. Oh, I fucked it up. Honda Civic. I'm gonna keep it. Because it's JDM. I got the Hellcat Red Eye, and I got the regular Hellcat up top. I'm keeping them two. Um, I might get rid of, as much as I didn't want to get rid of it, I might get rid of this and get a McLaren. Just not to have too many Lamborghinis laying around. Cause I got three, I got four Lamborghinis. And then this is the 2020 Huracan. So I'm gonna keep that. So like my, my thing right now is, should I put these rims on this Huracan? And then put these rims on that Huracan, or not just sell that Huracan. So it might be for sale if you know somebody wants to buy it off of me. It has 7,000 miles with extended warranty on it. I think it's a 2015 or 16. It has over a hundred and something thousand dollars in um, carbon fiber. The guy who actually built this car actually reached out to us. So he has all the pictures of him doing all the work on the car, which is pretty incredible. Um, so he actually texted me and stuff. He has all the pictures and stuff of the car. But if somebody wants to buy it, you know, I think 225, I might let let it go for. And then I'll just buy a McLaren with that money. Yeah, 225,000. I'll probably mess around and sell it. So you guys let me know in the comment section what you guys want me to get rid of. We're gonna start off with the Corvette in the front. I think I'm gonna keep that. Remember, I got a brand new, like this leg right here. I got into a car accident in 2017 where I flew out of the car and my leg snapped and this leg right here got replaced. I have a new femur. That's the reason why like, I got wobble and shit from that. So should I keep the Camaro or should I keep it and put like 24s on it and make it look real crazy and actually like like spec it, spec this Camaro out, make it like a hood car. But I know the Blazer has, like, the Blazer looks aggressive from the front. That's the only thing it has. It looks like a Lambo truck in the front. It's hard, man. It's hard letting go of some cars, man. Because, like, I fall in love with cars. Decisions, right? People are going to be like, oh, he's just trying to stunt on his decisions. No, I'm just... It, it hurts, like... I don't know. You get rid of a car and it bothers. Like, I had, a, I just had a Tesla, P100D. Literally before I started vlogging. Got rid of it. I kind of regretted it, but I, I, at the same time, I don't. Like, Teslas are so inconvenient. It's not... If you're in California, fine. But if you're in California, then... It's considered the soccer mom's car. Like the, like the Tesla truck, all it has is just the, the cute little doors opening. Besides that, the, the truck is garbage. It's a piece of crap. To me, at least. It doesn't look like a $150,000 truck. And it's, 
inconvenient as fuck. You can be doing something and you got 15% battery life, no no Tesla charges around. It's so super inconvenient. Nobody, listen, we're not running out of fossil fuels no time soon. I'm not environmentally, I don't care about none of that shit. I just put some fucking gas and I wanna go. Let me guys know in the comment section, please. I need your help, I'm begging, let's go. We got London on the team. Tell me, do you know? I want to thank you guys for everything. Thank you guys for watching. As you see, the videos are getting a little shorter, and that's, you know, to give you guys a better flow through the video. Tr trying to cut off those those moments where I'm actually walking and, you know, give you a better experience. Like, I'm new at this vlog and stuff, and I'm having fun. But as you see, my life is real chaotic. One minute I'm doing this, the next minute I'm doing that. And, you know, I could just start to piece out things in different videos. Because it'll make a lot more sense for you and me. Now, as you see, I'm gonna sit down real quick. Digital's left. Now, digital, you no, know, I can you gotta applaud the kid. He um he's 22 years old. And he's like, you know, he left a good paying job, which was this one, to go chase his dreams. Now he didn't wanna see one thing about digital, he didn't wanna actually like let me down. So he didn't wanna like tell me what was going on. He actually just he showed in his body language. I'm like, Digital, you don't want to be here? And like, you know, because he kept putting the camera down. And I had to keep asking him, like, yo, like, are you okay? And he finally opened up today. You know, his mom's real sick. So everybody, you know, go to Digital's page. I'm so digital. And let him know we sent them. We got prayers for his mom. His mom's real sick. You know, he actually wants to spend more time with his girlfriend. But at the same time, he wants to chase his passion. His passion is doing music videos. You know, I can do nothing but applaud the kid because it's actually very commendable that he left a good paying job to go do that and chase his dreams over something steady, you know, that I'm going to keep continue to pay him. But I'm happy for him because he's where he wants to be. Now, he's still going to stop around the vlogs once in a while and chill. But I want to thank you guys, man, because you guys have been sticking through this with me. I'm only three months in vlogging. How crazy is this? Three months in vlogging. Three months in vlogging. It's 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 insane. It's incredible. Like I'm having I'm having a lot of fun. You just guys don't understand. And um I just think a lot of good things can come out of this, you know? Some people are being touched, some people are being moved by this. Like and most importantly before all this, it's like this is actually helping me cope with certain problems. You know, um Digital's taught me, you know, for the next person to hire is going to be pretty much business because with him has been more friendship than business. You know what I mean? But everybody learns a lesson here. He learns a valuable lesson. I learned a valuable lesson. And he's, that's my dog. That's my boy. But thank you guys for watching this video. And um, see you tomorrow on the next one. <laughs> Peace out, guys. Looking up, I see no stunning. Looking down, I see drip. That's right. Neck work for half a million. Yeah. Niggas mad cause I'm living. Yeah. On Instagram, try and kill him. Woo. But I'm too busy fucking bad bitches getting M's, nigga. I'm chilling. Chillin'. Twin sides had to sleep on it. New crib, drop three on it. Hit the club and just keep going. See, I'm going stop, but I keep throwing. If she fucking.